When the hay is reconditioned after it starts to cure, the stalks will hold a kink and the swath stays fluffed up. The breeze goes through the swath, not over. Some operators have said they were able to bale later the first day after cutting if the breeze was right. If you have a brown leaf problem in Timothy, conditioning may be repeated just before baling. Use the quick adjust stops to open the rolls a little to prevent head damage. Raise the top deflector to your feed crop in California or for export from Australia. Oat hay can supply a lot of good fodder per acre. We know that cereal hays in general tend to be tough to dry. Over the past five years, the 500 plus Recon 200 out thoroughly open, which dramatically cuts drying time to a reasonable length. This could be a great way to use these plants to your best advantage without getting hammered by the weather. Recon 300 has a couple of other uses. Belt the hemp kit for the Recon to dry and soften the hemp plants before baling. After conditioning the stalks and still have only one third of the swath in the rolls at any time. You this machine the rolls do the picking. You set the rolls to brush the stubble and drive. There's no pickup to slow you down or create the movement of the hay coming off the rolls. The plastic deflectors can do several different jobs. In straight conditioning they protect the swath from blowing while it's in the air. Give them a small shift and they can move the swath a few feet sideways to dry ground. With a bit more deflection, you have a high-speed swath inverter that doesn't create lumps or wads in the windrow. If your cut is 12 feet or less, the deflectors can be used to lay two windrows side by side to feed a large baler. No more. When the machine lifts, you have a 26-inch clearance under the bottom roll. You can back up or turn across a fluff swath with no backing of number 80 chains running in oil bath cases. Surface roll speed is as high as 30 miles by the rock shaft, which is actually a torsion bar, and by a front curtains on both models keep debris away from the operator. The stem is squeezed from end to end and kinked enough to stay fluffed. Unlike machines with differential roll speeds, the re top quality hay doesn't just happen, you have to make it. Hay that is dried and baled quickly is